Hi, in this video, you will learn how to use the engraving tool or the surface text tool in Onshape. So as you can see here, I'm on my Onshape document. I labeled it food bowl underscore FB and the G of today, which is the new naming convention. So here is the sketch of what I did. So basically what I did here is I made a quick I made sure to show you guys how big I want this to be. So now I'm going to create a new part studio. I'm going to actually rename my first part studio by right clicking and naming it um, example football. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another part studio by clicking on the check and here I am. So I'm gonna right click on my top plane, make it my sketch, and I'm going to right click and click to near the sketch pane. I'm not gonna hide my, actually I am gonna hide my planes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click a circle, make my circle and expand it. And if I go back to my drawing, I know that the entire like diameter would be um, it would be your first, it would be your like five in inches. So I'm working with inches here, just if you didn't know. So I'm gonna use my five inches. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the green check button because I don't wanna mess with the sketch anymore. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my extrude tool, click on my part, and let's see how far we have to extrude it. So, oops, not there. We have to go here and it says that it's a two inch extrusion. So let's get extruding. So it's gonna be two inches and green check button. Let's check for the extrusion. Isometric, yay, it's been extruded. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shell it. So I'm gonna to go to my shell feature. I'm going to remove this face and I'm going to not hollow it. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what my shell thickness is. If, oh, okay, so my shell thickness was two inches. So, I mean, 0 0.2 inches. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make it zero point, uh, no, actually it was 1 16th of an inch. So remember 1 16th of an inch is equal to 0 0.125 inch. So as you can see here, it's a bit more, there. So now I'm going to click the green check button to confirm my shelling. So if you noticed carefully, there was a fillet here. I sort of filleted the edges a bit to make it them a bit more curved. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my fillet, select my rim, and I'm going to make it 0 0.125 inches as it said before. So I'm going to click on that. And now I'm also going to uh, make a fillet for this one, but I'm going to make that 0 0.327. Oh, but see how it changes both? I prefer to do two different fillets. So I'm going to make this one 0 uh, 16th of an inch and go back and make another um, fillet. I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to click here. And I'm going to make it 0 0.327 because if we're going to go back to our drawing, it said that the fillet was 0 0.327 inches. So I'm going to click the green check button. And remember, I measured these with the caliper. If I, I know I haven't mentioned that before. So that's all I really want to do here. Now let's go on and go to the surface text feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this green this plus custom features. Let's add custom features and I'm going to search up PP hyphen um, surface text, surface text without any space, dash beta. So all of that, just like that. So I'm gonna click enter and this should be the image that you pop up. If you do a, a space, this is what's going to pop up. So don't do this, but these are the options that are going to pop up. You do not want that. You want this. You, this is like the latest part, basically. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this feature and it gets added to my toolbar. So now I'm going to check that. I'm going to go to add sketch features. So for some reason, it was not added, so let me search that again. Okay, so it said it was removed. So it says it's added again. So if we go down and we um, click on this drop down surface, you'll get surface text. And this is what's going to open up. So I'm actually making a water ball for my doggo. His name's Lucky Boy. We love him so much. But he's a beagle. And so I'm going to actually start engraving his name here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the base surface, which is this, uh, actually my baseline, which is this fillet, um, this line over here. And the base surface is this line. So I'm going to do that and it's going to give you a default like text. So if you want to change your text, you can come down and come like to this text area and you can type in whatever you want. I'm going to capitalize it and go lucky boy because that's his name. And it sounds way cuter than it's spelled out. But so then I'm going to go to text align. Now what this does is it gives you how like you want your text to be aligned. I want mine to be centered. And what that does is it sort of acts funky and it takes you all the way down here and it adjusts, it adjusts the size to a 16th of an inch. It's not really what you want. So it basically um, gives it, so it moves it down sort of. So what you can do is you can adjust it and I want to make mine one inch. I want to make mine big because my dog's not a very big boy, but you know. Um, so well, let's just experiment with the text alignment. If you do fit, it's going to make sure that it goes along around and if you like a uh, completely above and if you go to left, then it sort of aligns to the left. Um, hold on, wrong way. It sort of aligns to the left here. But if you do right, it aligns to the right. So see, it aligns to the right here, wrong way. So if I go to my right face, you should be able to see it. So right face, it aligns to the right. So, um, and if you want, I want mine to be centered though. I want mine to be um, completely centered. So there we go. It's like at the center of your um, entire extrusion. So I'm fine with my text height. I'm fine with my text, like I'm not really fine with my text depth though. But before we attack the text depth, let's um, tackle the font. I want mine to be Noto Serif and I want my um, extrusion type to be uh, raised, um, cut out, sorry. So I want my letters to also be filleted so they're nice and curved rather than being choppy. So the difference is if you don't make um, your fillet edges, it sort of doesn't look that clean. But if you fillet your letters, it looks a bit more cleaner. Um, so actually it doesn't let me do fillet text. So it's a non-planar, um, they weren't able to support it yet. And remember this is the 2021. So if you're watching this a couple years from now, um, maybe it's changed. So let's try and see how far we can do it. So if we do, um, so this is non-planar base surface. So we can't really use letters here. So I'm gonna just go to cut out. Oops, so there we go. So it's going to ask you your alignment, your vertical alignment. If you want your um, vertical alignment to be in the middle, it's going to take the middle of your basically baseline. So if you want it your top extent, it's going to make sure that it goes underneath your baseline. And if you want it your top baseline, then yeah, um, your middle baseline would give it up here. 
your bottom extent would give it a little bit up and your bottom baseline would just keep it the same because remember it's we're giving it a very small range if you give it a bigger range it would have probably moved a lot more so yeah and then what we're going to do is we're going to change the text depth um right now it goes through and through because our depth of the bowl is um or like our um shell we have laid it to 0 0.125 so i don't want that i just want it a Thin engravement. So I'm going to go 0 0.1. So there we go. Now, what I'm going to do is that's basically all I want to do right now with the nice surface text, and I just want to see how it looks. So that looks really nice. I really like it. And let's just see how it looks from all of these angles. Wow, it looks so cool. So that's the engravement tool or the surface text tool. Um, so before I let you guys go, I actually want to hide my top plane. Um, and I actually want to show you how you can change the colors on this because obviously it doesn't look that nice without colors. So since my Duggo is a beagle and he's mainly sort of brownish black, so I'm going to right click on my part. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on edit appearance. I'm going to choose a nice brown color. This is actually one of my favorite shades of brown. So if anyone wanted you, anyone of you want to get me a gift, you know my favorite color. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just check how like how nice it looks. So far, I to what I know, you can't change the letter engravement colors. So if any of you discover how to do it, please do leave it in the comments below. So yeah. So in my knowledge, you can pretty much only change it to, um, if you have your cutout tools, then you can only change the colors of your entire part. You can't change the color of the engravements. So yeah, I'm gonna check that. And I actually want my material to be stainless steel. So I'm gonna right click on my part one. I'm going to click on assign material. So I'm gonna go and type in stainless steel one. I mean, stainless steel. And I want mine to be a sort of, um denser because my dog moves it around so much so i'm going to choose 82 stainless steel and there we go that's basically how you assign your materials so next time you 3d print it it's going to come out in stainless steel if it has the materials for it so that's how you use your engravement or surface text tool and if you have any questions, as always, please do put them down in the comments. If you discover new videos or you want me to make a video on a new feature or want me to do another project like this one, please do leave them in the comments below. I'm always open to suggestions. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye.